Greetings, YouTube. I find it to be a severe understatement to say it is a strange time in the Marvel Contest of Champions universe. On one hand, I feel like there's some promising things going on in the game. I think the Summer of Pain has been a hit so far. The fights have been challenging but fair. The rewards, though it'll take another two months to get them, will be great. I also think that it's exciting that... Uh, Kabam has finally given us a evolution of the Legendary Crystal, which has that 20% chance for 6-star, as was shown in the unit store today. Uh, so I don't want this video to be, you know, Mr. Negative, here we go again, just complain, complain, complain. There's a lot of good going on. Uh, and I will say this is a credit to Kabam. We've never seen a faster response to a compensation package than the parry compensation package we got this week, and they even gave everybody, including yours truly, who hasn't done an Alliance War fight in half an Olympic term, Alliance War rewards. But at the same time, I don't know how your experience has been, but uh, last night in Alliance Quest, the game just stopped working for me in multiple fights, especially in the final sector, the final tier, the final part of, and I just do map five. I was still able to get the boss down, but the fights before... Um, there have been two issues with parry that I've seen. It, it'll say parry, but the defender won't be stunned. Or I'll time it perfectly to where I know without a shadow of a doubt that I just parried and nothing happens. Uh, obviously, when you parry, you block the attacker's hit. And so you block it and they just keep hitting. And if you're like me, you block it, you think you've parried, you release your thumb to try to counter. But if they're continuing to hit, you release your thumb, let off that block, and you've let yourself open to a counter punch that even in map five will take 30% of your health. I don't know what the window of when this will be fixed will be, and who knows if Kabam knows either. But we got this announcement today that due to ongoing issues with gameplay affecting many players, we are choosing to delay the start of Summoner Showdown by one week. This means that the week one qualifier quest will now begin on Monday, July 19th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are continuing to work to resolve the current gameplay issues and hope to have them resolved as soon as possible, but also want to err on the side of caution and not take any chances when launching this highly competitive competition. Thank you for your understanding. We apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. So pretty standard answer from Kabam, you know, and rightfully so. It is interesting that they're, they're kind of having to dictate, given that the game as they are recognized, is broken right now. What content is released to be tried broken and what content is too important to not be? Uh, it, it seems like Alliance War and now the Summoner Showdown seem to be the content that is too big of stakes to let uh, the game currently as is go. But Alliance Quest, Side Quests, General Quests, and even the Summer of Pain must not be as big of a deal. Now, Summer of Pain is interesting because since there's no energy costs and you can rerun it as many times as possible, I mean, if I was running Kabam, I'd say, well, it might be broken, but if the game messes up, they can just restart the fight. Now, obviously, that's not a perfect system, but it's there are less stakes and more of a margin for error, especially when using items, than something like Alliance War. So I get it. I get it. But uh, this is... Something we haven't seen, you know, a couple of years ago, uh, those of you who are playing long enough to remember the Gwynpool Goes to the Movies event, that was right after, uh, particularly iPhones and iPads were overheating to the point, one person claimed there's catch, there's not catch, those caught on fire, I used the wrong tense, uh, that their iPad caught on fire due to it. And I know I had friends in my alliance who went to their mobile uh, store to get their phone checked out and the store like AT&T and Verizon flat out said oh yeah I would I would delete that app it's ruining your phone and you can't exactly get uh, insurance for a new phone when an app that you downloaded is causing the damage that's one of those like bizarre loopholes so this isn't that but in some ways it's worse because it's affecting both Apple and Android phones and if your accounts like mine there's no rhyme or reason for when these gameplay issues pop up. It sort of feels like when you least suspect it, it does. Uh, 
the final area of the game that I should point out before this video ends is that Incursions has been a nightmare for so many of you who've messaged me. And I want you to know that I, I do hear your complaints, and just because I'm not making more specific videos on the gameplay issues doesn't mean I, I'm not listening. It's just I don't want to make multiple videos over the same issue. I think that's uh, not worth your time, especially when uh, we have no window into it. This is a little bit different since this was an announcement on the forums. It was worth a a five minute or so video but that's that's it and since that's it let's end it here thanks for watching have a good one and thank you to everybody who continues to update me on the current gameplay issues that are unfortunately still with us